now you can create a, your own deepfake with just one click yes you heard it right i was recently able to find this repository called roop and this is amazing work and in this video i'm going to show you how you can also create your own deepfake with just single click and also you can run it on cpu you don't even require a big uh, powerful gpu for that in fact my machine is a uh, uh, mac m1 and that is also uh, going to run the stuff on the cpu only there's no uh, gpu will going to work in behind the scenes so let's just uh, go to the description open this github link you will going to get next you have to do uh, already you can see uh, this sample they have provided so what you have to do is scroll down and open this basic link over here now you just have to install the python uh, well uh, you can just go to the google and download python i mean there are already tons of tutorials out there in order to show you how you can install python in your windows linux or mac so once you have installed the python you will have to install the git also now once again uh, there will be so many tutorials but you can just say download git click on the first link you get and here you will going to get the tutorials so for example i am on mac so I'll just click on Mac OS and I'll just have to say brew install git or if you are windows you are going to get a setup file I guess yes you are going to get a installer file you can just download and install the git also now for ffmpg for linux or mac uh, you can just simply say uh, open the terminal and you can just simply say brew install ffmpg or for linux I guess it should be somewhat around apt install ffmpg but for windows you can just check out uh, i guess uh, you should have some tutorial on their official website for windows so you can just follow that uh, also in order to install it so um, here is for linux and this is for windows and this is for mac going to have these exe files you can click on the link or probably you can ask the chat chat GPT how to install ffmpg on windows and it's going to provide you the steps so it has provided the step-by-step -step installation process for windows but i guess there should be already so many tutorial for installing ffmpg on windows also but anyways you can just download the static build and install it on your computer so you should have ffmpg the main point is that okay so now we have already installed so you just uh, for in my case it will be in documents development then i will create a directory called deepfix and inside this I have nothing so I'll just going to say uh, or probably just paste this line of code git clone and this particular repository if I list the files I will going to have a root directory so you just have to navigate to the root and now if I list I have this requirements.txt so what you have to do is pip install requirements.txt now this is going to take a little bit of time since it is going to install uh, the requirements it required to run the code now next uh, we have already done this now next you will going to download this particular file so just open this click on download and click on download anyway and it is going to download uh, the file so what you have to do is to open the terminal wherever you have downloaded the code by using git clone and put this particular file which you have downloaded in the same directory which is root directory so once you have all this next thing you require is the image and the video so I am going to use this image so I will put uh, the deepfake I will create the deepfake of this particular image and I am going to put that face onto this video so let's see how you can do that so let's open back our terminal make sure it is in the same directory where we have downloaded all the code and stuff now in order to run you have to say python run.py that's it you have to do now you have to click on select face so uh, the face is this as I have already told select the target so the target is this video and click on start just ignore this now it is going to take a while for performing all the steps in the back end and you should have a new directory called with the name of your video and inside this video you will going to get all the frame by frame output and then you will get the final video so i'm just going to pause the uh, pause the screen recording right now and i'll get back to you soon so here's the problem actually it was able to successfully process all the frames but it didn't uh, save the video the output video inside the directory it mentioned so in order to resolve that what you have to do is go to this core and then open this utils.py open it with whatever code editor you use or text editor you use and then you have to navigate down to this add audio function which is over here and you have to comment these last two lines of code so which is about this rm3 and this mmove command 
so you just have to save make the changes save and close and once again run this python run.py and now hopefully it should be able to save so let's just click on select face uh, we are going to image select target which will be this video and then click on start so now i'm going to pause it and we'll be back when this is finished okay so uh, after about four or five minutes it has finished the job and it had uh, swap successful now the output will be inside this video 2 folder and below uh, you will be having this swapped video underscore 2.mp4 this is your main output so you just have to open it and you see so i'll just open the original video and side by side we will see what's the difference so you see this one was the original one and this is the deep fake one so let me just play the deep fake one kapde gehne te te and let me play the original one kapde gehne te te kapde gehne te te let me just mute this and you can already see uh, it has created pretty good deep fake now the solution i shown you uh, uh, the commenting the code uh, you should actually try commenting uh, i'm not pretty sure that it is only on my machine on mac m1 i'm currently using or it is on everyone's machine so let me know in down comment section if you require to make the changes in order to resolve the save issue but anyways i told you a quick work around how to bypass this uh, particular bug and anyways uh, i will end this video right over here and if you have any queries regarding the installation or working let me know in down comment section you can also head to the issues section of this repository and you should have your issue might already been solved over here also so till then goodbye and keep coding